Welcome back my lovelies. Today's video is all about perfumes that I only had to sample once or smell once to buy. So these made a huge impression on me and they uh, there are eight of them that I really want to talk to you about. By the way, on this channel I talk about perfume and luxury, do luxury unboxings and vlogs sometimes. I recently went to Florence and vlogged that trip so you can guys check out that video if you want. And now for these fragrances that really made a huge, huge impression on me. The first fragrance that made a huge impression on me is this one. It's De Los Santos. This one, the story goes, I went to Selfridges. I love shopping at Selfridges. Sometimes, actually sometimes I hate it. But anyway, this was one of the times I really liked it. And I went to the Bayredo counter and I smelled this. I was like, game over. <laughs> I'm buying it straight away. Although I own a lot of fragrances, I don't often just impulse buy. That is really rare to me, especially because I'm a saver. I'm not, like, I'm weird. Sometimes I'll spend a lot of money. I don't have a problem spending a lot of money on a quality item, but then I will penny pinch on like canned tomatoes. <laughs> you know, like I'll just pick the cheapest, like, food items sometimes. I'm just, just the, the weirdest one. My husband, like yesterday at a grocery store, he was like, you're so weird. Like you buy Chanel bags, but then you're like penny pinch on like every single item. I love finding a good deal. That's why I always have discount codes for you guys below or like I find little special deals. So check out the links below as well. This fragrance is super intense, woody, herbal, medicinal, I would say. And I can really smell here black tea. It's just overwhelming to me and it's so good. It's a bit earthy, it's deep. It's got that lightness of Bayredo fragrance, but at the same time, it's a bit deeper and denser. I think it's such a sexy fragrance because it's not sweet. It's just like medicinal, spicy, just oof, like I want to eat it. Not because it's sweet, but because it's just so hypnotizingly good. Totally a signature worthy fragrance, uh, in my opinion, because everybody will definitely like know you. this is your fragrance. It's quite a strong fragrance for Bayredo. So yeah, this one, I just straight up bought it, which is very unlike me. Next fragrance is actually one that I didn't even sniff before buying. So this is like level up. <laughs> I only read the notes of this fragrance and I bought it because I knew like, I was in love with the notes. And sometimes that happens to me. Like at this point, I kind of know what notes work for me. And I didn't expect this exact smell, but I knew that I was going to like it from the notes. And it is Zerzhov Starlight. And I know you guys love it as well. It is the best surge of perfume for me. I'm sure I love, like I love a lot of the popular ones as well, but this one is on another level. When I smelt it from the box, I was like, <sighs> this is a perfume that I'll have for the rest of my life. Zerzhov can have my money. I don't even care how expensive this is. Like if I had to just own like two perfumes, this would for sure be in this list. I found it, I'm sticking to it, to it. It's a honeyed, transparent, herbal, heavenly creature. This fragrance is just so strong, but really light, a bit chocolatey, but just a tiny bit, but it's just stunning, okay? It literally smells like the bright stars. I totally get why they gave it this name. I'm in love with it and I might do some more blind buying from Sergio because this one turned out great. It's an amazing fragrance. You have to check it out. And the next one is a fragrance that I can't wait to be wearing a lot more now because I got it, I think, when it was warmer. And this is definitely more, to me, a comforting fragrance. And it's one that I kind of don't want to share with you because I love it so much and it's not so well known. So, but you know, guys, like I can't help myself. I just have to share. It's a patchouli fig from Panouage from Matelier, Matière Libère. This fragrance, I can't wait to wear it more. It's a fig and patchouli. And you wouldn't think 
this would work so well together but there is this sweetness to the figs the figs give it like this syrupiness together with a bit of chocolatiness it's a light fragrance but still it's got a lot of depth it's very comforting it's very different smelling i haven't smelled anything smelling like this like ever so this fragrance when i got a sample i was like i have to this is very very good quality as well and i'm surprised more people don't know about it because it's not that expensive like for the quality of the perfume it's absolutely amazing so this one i sniffed one and then I had to get it and I can't wait to wear it more this wintry season. By the way, let me know in the comments if you guys are those people that just sniff a fragrance and buy it straight away or are you the people who request samples and have to spend time with your perfume and you take ages? Let me know which ones are, are you. Next fragrance is this one from Hermes. I've been talking about this one a lot but I just love it. It gives me a feeling of comfort. There's something about it, it just reminds me of like horse riding, I love horses and it's such a high quality fragrance from MS exclusive line, it's called Violette Vulinka and it smells of leather and violets and here they're so just so well blended together and when I wear it, it's just like I feel safe, it's just a beautiful clean leather it's not a stinky leather it's just clean it's comforting when you walk into a boutique that just smells of leather this is that but together with violets i find that it's much more wearable and just beautiful so this one i smelled in a mess and i was like yeah i'm getting it it's yeah it just gave me this feeling you know sometimes you just know <laughs> like you know he's the one <laughs> this is like that with some perfumes you know they are the ones you know that you will get on you know you'll be best friends and this is a perfect i would say everyday signature perfume let's jump to the next one by the way i'm burning a new candle <laughs> if you like that let me know if you guys like candles i don't know if i'm the only person obsessed with candles but I can quickly share with you some of my favorites. This one is a diptyque one, it's a new one, so I can't review it, it, uh, review it yet. It's a chamomile one, but I love Christmas diptyque candles every year. They, and they have already come uh, out of some, so I'm going to smell them this week. So I'll let you know on Instagram if I like this year's ones, but I'm sure I'll like at least one, they're amazing. I also love, if you're looking for, for a huge scent for candles, a mega amazing scent, Roja Parfum Peony Candle. My favorite candle, I think, ever. That one, I burned so fast, it's super intense, super beautiful, the packaging is gorgeous. If you're looking for a strong candle, yeah, Diptyque Roses, again, I'm not a huge rose fan, but that candle, strong, really amazing. Feu de Bois from Diptyque again, Bibliothèque from Bayredo, that one is also a perfume, so you'll probably know how it smells like, but it's more like books, yellowed pages, that sort of a vibe, and Feu de Bois from Diptyque is also kind of like burnt wood, which I like. Nest candles. My favorite is the one that they've just come out. It's one that is called Charcoal Woods, I think. Charcoal something. I'll link it down below. That one is by far my favorite. Again, it's like a woody, spicy sort of a blend. Really amazing scent for again with this one. And you know, some candles smells a bit like just a bit like bathroom smell but not nice so i don't like those uh, but these are, are very nice and the white company winter candle one of my favorites and they've got another one that is like seasonal i'll link it down below i can never remember the names but those are like buy on repeat sort of candles if you're looking for some recommendations next fragrance that i smelt and i just had to purchase it i've got um bottle here but it's not the exact same so, uh, so i've got here narcisa rodriguez it's not this exact scent but the one that i'm talking about i've already sprayed the whole bottle so i don't have it for <laughs> props but it is for her the black bottle so it's the eau de toilette let me know if you guys are confused about narcisa rodriguez packaging it's so confusing but yeah it's the black bottle in a pink box which is confusing because there's a pink bottle that is in the black box i don't know why they did that but anyways that one i smelled 
and I purchased straight away and it was my signature scent for a straight year. It was before I was on YouTube, but that scent I wore every single day to work. I just loved it. I think that fragrance is perfect for, again, every day because it's so beautiful. It's not too strong, but it's present enough and it's there's like musky flowers it's so beautiful you guys know that i don't like super girly perfumes but that one is like a it's not like a girly perfume it's like a women's perfume to me and there is a difference there's like girliness and there's like it's just such a stunning everyday fragrance so yeah this one it's a stand-in for that one this one is nice as well but <laughs> that one i bought like straight away when I sampled it. Next is a fragrance that totally impressed me. I was thinking I can't live without it and there's only a few fragrances really that capture my my attention because usually because I just order samples all the time I get like probably tens probably at least 30 different fragrances every single week that if something holds my attention for a bit longer, if I remember about it, I know it's special and it is this one, Magenta Tanzanite from Armani. I smelt it out shopping. I applied it on my skin the same day. Like this woman was like asking me like, what are you wearing? And I only sprayed it like here <laughs> and it was a bit colder. So I wasn't even like, it wasn't radiating that much, but apparently she was obsessed with it. She asked me for the name. I was like, this is really nice because I love this fragrance and people love this fragrance. This is an amazing scent. It's a chocolatey tobacco, but in here it's just, it's so smooth. It's not, it's not got any harsh edges because tobacco sometimes can be like really pungent and really harsh here. It's more of a chocolatey tobacco with some beautiful spices. It's intense without being nauseating, you know, it's, it's got that intensity, but it's not on your breath all the time when you wear it, which is really lovely because other people can smell it, but it's not just in any way taking away from you. I think I like to wear a fragrance. I don't like fragrance wearing me. And this one is definitely one of those that is there, but it's not too much. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. One of the best Armani Privés for me. And if you like that more of a confident oomph, to your fragrance, this is amazing. Another scent that I fell in love with and sadly I haven't worn it that much, but I bought it straight away. So this is a very, very strong impression that this fragrance gave me. Uh, it's Manifesto from YSL. This scent I have worn a little, but I bought it last year and I just reminded myself of it on the way somewhere at the airport and on the way back I was like, I have to get it because I remember how much I like this. This is, to me, it's a dirty vanilla in the way that like here the vanilla is a bit like cigarettes, like night out, smoke, sticky floors. I know it doesn't sound attractive, but it's got this like hypnotic sexiness to it. It's like a good time. This fragrance smells like a good time, just night out, having a blast and waking up the next morning still smelling of this fragrance. This is what it is like to me. Um, so I just adore the impression that this fragrance, like it's a really lasting impression when you smell the scent. It's a beautiful blended like oriental vanilla fragrance, um, but not your like pretty vanilla. It's more like, you know, a bad good girl, you know? really fun and another scent that i actually sampled here on this channel and i got afterwards it's ariancha arancia di sicilia from paris monte carlo this scent is just magnificent for a freshie there is like not much that beats it i wore it a lot this summer because it's so refreshing it's like this like ripe orange juice like the sun and holidays it's a citrusy citrus, <laughs> well, alliteration there, uh, but it's a bit smoother as well, but not too smooth, but I don't like when something, when citruses are too sharp. But this is not too sharp at all, and it gives you a lovely freshness. It smells super expensive, 
And to me, like if I was to choose between a Tom Ford, like Neroli Portofino and this, I would choose this because it's more original, more natural smelling and just something that you won't find everywhere. So amazing fragrance, super refreshing for the summer. It smells like the real deal, like the oranges. <laughs>